guys even though 22 rimfire is one of the cheapest ammunition that you can buy it still is it cheap for example this box of uh, cci mini mag 22 long rifle this is a 375 rounds in this box 29 dollars as you can see you know it's cheaper than center fire ammo it's still not cheap eight eight seventy nine or a hundred rounds even the bulk packs that is uh like the cheaper ammo like this or i forgot the price on this but this is uh 555 rounds and i don't remember exactly the price on this but i'm thinking it's around 15 dollars for this so even though 22 caliber rimfire ammunition is it expensive compared to most center fire ammo is still expensive so if you're going to stock up on it and you should because 22 rimfire is a very versatile caliber for preppers and homesteaders and survivalists so it's a good idea to have a 22 if you're going to have a 22 rimfire rifle or handgun for prepping it's a good idea to have a good stockpile of ammunition and like i said 22 ammunition even though it's cheaper than most center fire ammo it still isn't cheap so if you're going to stockpile it, you want to make sure that you store it in a way to ensure that it will be just as good 10, 15, 20, 30 years from now as it was the day it was manufactured. And 22 rimfire ammo is also more susceptible to moisture. So that means you need to take more precaution when storing this ammunition long term. One of the things I like to use is these silica desiccate packets. You can get these off of uh, Amazon. You can find these small ones in like shoe boxes and things like that too. You can also use silica based cat litter to make your own. But these are pretty cheap. You can get these off of Amazon and other places. And they come in packages of I think maybe 10 in a pack. I've had these for a while. They're reusable so you can reuse them. Like if you had to get in your ammo box and you want to reuse these, you can just re uh, dry them out and use them again. But these take any moisture out of the air and absorb it into crystals and lock that moisture into the crystals and save it from getting on your ammo. So, but the one thing, the first thing you need to consider is what kind of container that you're going to use to store the 22 caliber ammo in. I like these metal military ammo cans like this. You get these in a few different sizes. But I like these because they have the rubber gasket that seals. When you buy these surplus, be sure to uh, check the gasket out and make sure that it's a really good gasket and it's in good shape and everything because you want that seal to be airtight and watertight when you store, your, when you store your ammunition. Also the lids will come off too of these cans. You can also get something like these cans from uh, these plastic cans such as this and they get these at Walmart and other places. I'll try to find this on Amazon too, put a link below to Amazon for these. But personally, I prefer the metal military ammo cans over these plastic ones. These plastic ones are good and they'll work, but they have, they also have the rubber seal inside of here. I have seeds in this one actually. So I'm not using this one for ammo storage. I use most of these for my seed storage. But you can use these for ammo storage also. So you need a good can to put these in and some silicone, silica desiccates. And I also like to use, you can get, if you put these in your bags like this, and you can store more ammunition, and if you put it in bags like this, then you can leave it inside the box. And the box can also actually harbor moisture inside the cardboard. Not a lot, and it's not like it actually hurt anything, but it's a possibility that it could. Another thing to think about when you're putting your ammo in your can is to, you want to fill your can as full as possible, because the fuller it is, the less space there'll be for air or anything like that or any moisture in there if you got it full of ammo and you can store more ammo and put it in bags like this these are the food saver bags these aren't just ziploc bags because ziploc bags sealed up could also hold moisture so you don't want to use those either really but uh these are the food saver bags you can get the, you can buy these at walmart amazon different places you want to take i'm not rolling this yet but you want to take and write in the permanent marker the type of ammo how many rounds is in this and the date you stored it. Again, if you're going to buy ammunition from, if you're going to buy ammunition that you're planning on going out and shooting up in a couple of weeks or a couple of months, there's no need to do all this. This is for long term storage. It's going to be stored for years. But you want to take your bag, 
and push out any air that might be inside the bag. And then you want to seal the bag up, make sure it's sealed good at the top. Then you'll take your food saver vacuum sealer if you have one. Again, this is an extra step that I like to take to make for sure that everything is stored in an airtight, moisture-free environment. So I like to use the food saver in these bags to store ammunition because, like I said, you can store more ammunition in these bags. If you take it, the ammunition out of the boxes like this and transfer it to these food saver bags, and then vacuum seal these bags. You'll have a better seal, you have more protection for your ammunition, and you can also get more inside the can. Because these boxes, while they're shaped, takes up a lot of round, a lot of uh, space. For example, these are 100 rounds. You can take this out of this, put this something like this, it's a whole lot smaller. Takes a whole lot, makes a whole lot smaller footprint, I'm trying to say. But anyway, guys, you want to turn the power on to your food saver. And you can see this little thing right here. Lay your bag down. You don't want to get the bag too full of ammo. This is maybe too full. I don't know. Sometimes I overfill and I have to take some ammo out. But you press this down and then press your accessory. You can see it's once it's finished. that you can see this is a really tight sealed package now you just put that in your can and then onto the next one take it your can full See another sealed brick of ammunition. Put that in your can. You keep doing that. You can also mix these up, put these in like this. It's vacuum sealed. You can mix these in like this if you want. Put those in and then put your desiccates in. Seal it up. Close the lid and your ammunition will be good for years. I've uh I've actually shot 22 ammunition that was 10, I think 10 years old, 10 or 12 years old it was. It's been there a long time, I think it's around 10 or 12 years old. And it shot, most of the rounds shot fine. But there's a few that would shoot, but they were not as powerful. You could hear the difference in the sound. When you're shooting 22, you can tell the difference in the sound of the rounds. Some might be louder, and if they're not full power, something's kind of happening to them but they're not really loaded right or correct or same as the others, and you hear a difference in the sound. But I had a few of those that had the sound a little different out of that bunch. It was like, it was 10 or 12 years old, the ammo was. I actually found it in an old house, and I know it was that old because the people that had lived in that old house had been there for 10 or 12 years. So the, old, the house had been abandoned, and the box of ammo was just, it was dry, because the house was still dry on the inside, but they had the box of ammo in there, and I took it out just to try it out to see how it shot. And most of the rounds still functioned, still shot perfectly. There were a few rounds that were kind of duds. They would shoot, but they wasn't full power. You could hear the difference in the sound. And there were several, I think about three rounds out of that box of ammunition that didn't fire at all. So you need to store it properly and it'll last a long time. Keep it dry, keep the, because 22 is more susceptible to moisture than center for MOS. So it's, it's more important to store this, take extra precaution when storing your 22 caliber ammunition. But anyway guys, if you want to learn how to live better, live cheaper, and survive when things get tough, then please consider buying my book. The link's down in the description box below. This book is 170, 176 pages I think it is. You know, 176 pages. And you can see the it's small text. So it's a lot of information in this 176 pages. This manual covers everything you need to know about prepping and survival. 
the contents introduction why prep water drink or die the prepper's food pantry tools for cooking and processing your food storage essential survival tools and gear the bug out bag tools for self-defense and foraging urban survival considerations medical considerations communications defending your home and retreat self-sufficiency is the key to long-term survival and barter items that's what this book covers so pretty much everything you need to know about prepping and survival is in this book and also sell this book helps me keep making videos for everyone else thanks guys appreciate it